Let's take a quick tour of the primary features of the Denny food sealer. On the top, there are the two main compartments. In the rear is where a roll of sealer bag is stored, with a cutting slider on top to easily make your own custom bag size. The front compartment holds the vacuum chamber and the sealing strip. The food sealer can be used to keep dried food, such as this 25 pound sack of rice, fresh way beyond how long it might normally last. Here, I have magically transformed this sack of rice into about 15 sealed bags that will last several years longer and stay fresher and more nutritious without exposure to oxygen, moisture, heat, and light. Here's how it works. First, cut off the length of the bag you need, and now you have a bag open at the top and bottom like a sleeve. Seal one end of it by positioning it on the sealing element, closing the lid, and then select seal only. Now fill the bag, leaving enough room to seal the other end. Place the open end extending into the vacuum chamber and lock the lid in place and select vacuum seal. The sealer will now remove the air from the bag and seal the bag tight. And that's all there is to it. And your bags are ready to be labeled, dated, and stored. I expect these pinto beans to last 10, 20, or even 30 years. While beans are best for taste, texture, and nutrition eaten sooner than that sort of time frame, it is interesting how long this type of food storage can last. Proper rotation of your food stock should remedy this, but we personally have sealed legumes and enjoyed them 10 years later. We also seal herbs and spices and other seasonings such as this nutritional yeast. Oregano, basil, if it's any dried food, you can vastly extend the shelf life in a vacuum. This type of long-term storage is an essential part of planning for emergencies of all kinds. You can and should store hundreds of pounds of dried foods away. The food sealer works for far more than just dried foods. It is also great to store cookies. Just about any baked goods will last weeks in the fridge or even months if you seal them and pop them in the freezer. Even watery foods like this soup can be preserved for months. To do this, make a longer bag than normal. Carefully spoon the soup into the bag, avoiding contact with the top as much as possible. Be sure to wipe the open end dry for the sealer to create a good seal. Lock it in place, and then as you vacuum, hang the bag over the edge of the countertop to keep the liquids down in the bag. Clean your sealer well if any liquid does make it into the vacuum chamber. Then, place the bag in the freezer where it will keep well for up to six months. There are other things you could do when dealing with wet foods. You could fold the top down to create a cuff so that when you scoop the food into the bag, it does not come in contact with the top. Also, you can insert a napkin into the top to prevent any liquids from escaping into the vacuum chamber.
Another great method is the boiling bag method, where you boil the food right in the bag. Here, Sassy has made a delicious dish. No chicken divan. It's made with satan. She measures the size of one serving and then cuts the appropriate size bag. Then she seals what will be the bottom of the bag. And to prevent the food from getting uh, into the top of the sealer bag, she turns the top inside out. And then she puts in one serving. Then she unfolds the top, making sure it is free of any moisture, and then vacuum seals the bag. With more delicate dishes like this, you might try this little trick, where she begins the sealing process manually before 100% of the air is removed to keep the suction from squishing the food. Then she wipes the top clean. And then into the freezer where it will keep for months. When you are ready to serve it, it is best to defrost it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. And note that you should never defrost food at room temperature because it will spoil. Now the next day, just plop the bag in boiling water and then turn the burner down to simmer the bag for about 15 minutes and note that if you don't have the time to defrost it you can boil a frozen bag but you'll have to boil it for about twice the amount of time about 30 minutes this method is also great because it does not cook the food it merely heats it so there's no overcooking. And also no pans are dirtied in this way because you are only using water. When it's done, carefully remove it and simply cut the bag open and it's ready to serve. And if you like, you can add a fresh topping or a sauce. Just as delicious as it was months ago when it was made. Prepared in advance, you could keep lots of meals frozen and ready to go for your family in the freezer. And just to illustrate how easy this is, we use this method for camping. We make a week's worth of meals, freeze them, and then when we leave we put them all on ice in a cooler. And while the meals will slowly thaw, it's okay as long as they are kept cold, like in a refrigerator. Here we are, camping in the middle of the desert, enjoying delicious homemade meals all week long with only a camp stove and a pot of water. We hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful. We highly recommend everyone have a food sealer for so many reasons. The Denny Food Sealer has been a trusted appliance in our kitchen for many years.